friends um, a very different kind of kind of a review this time uh, what i'm going to take you over is a vintage pen um, a parker falcon um the pen uh, came out way back in uh, 1978 it was a kind of a successor to uh, parker uh, t1 which was a titanium version um it sort of got locked up into people's uh, lockers because uh, became more of a collectible rather than a functional pen uh, because of the uh, the uh, nib point not well very well being welded on to the titanium part and uh, then it was followed up in 78 by uh, the stainless breast stainless steel version called uh, flighter and then a matte black version a gold version and finally this one in 1982 uh, which is a brown version matte brown a parkel parker falcon this pen i received uh, 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 with uh, a clutch pencil this one is the pencil so i'll let it remain in its part and then here is the pen so we'll go through the pen uh, a very brilliant concept of a unitary nib uh, uh, i'll just go through that you see the traditional parker clip uh, which is in the shape of a arrow um, a very beautiful clip functional uh then you have this brushed aluminum uh, uh, round in the finial a black halo around that and then you have the clip um then uh, the whole body of the pen has been made of a um, matte finish and then you have a small recess on to the bottom of the pen you see a bit of body shining through between the barrel and the metal cap which also happens to be uh the the ring uh of the of the ring of the barrel here you see and it has three or four indentations onto the side here you see these projections not indentations on which the cap snaps on so on the cap you have written uh, you have uh, it is written uh, parker and made in usa this is a unitary nib unitary uh, because the section uh, is in continuity with the nib you don't see them as two different pieces um, it's a beautiful design and you you also see these kind of design in um, two other pens which i know of which is uh pilot mr100 and uh, mu um so those are the two other pens which have the same concept and you have a simple feed with a hole uh, here and um, triangular feed you see a two tone kind of a appearance at the nib a glossy um, uh, the glossy finish um, which follows this matte finish of on of the section then you have a uh, uh, a metal ring on which the cap slips up and then this barrel you have these threads and you have a typical um, converter um, for uh, for parker the body of the pen is made up of uh, stainless steel which has this brushed aluminum finish it's it's very lightweight and uh, sometimes even feels that this is not steel but aluminum it's it's pretty lightweight and sturdy to hold as well so the brilliant thing about the unitary concept the unitary nib is that the writing section is become so long that you can hold it anywhere where you please the length of the pen uh, makes it uh, possible for you to hold it anywhere from this uh, chrome ring uh, this ring up till close to the nib and then also you can see from between the uh, between the web between uh, these two fingers that you can hold it even without posting pretty well the length of the pen is very comfortable uh, obviously these are slim pens so you would find your fingers touching over the grip uh, i don't find it a hassle some of you may not like your fingers touching while you are holding the pen uh, you can take your call on that 
you may try your hand on other slim pens before finally deciding on to uh, going for this uh, and posting well I don't like to post so I generally it slips my mind for um, putting down on this so it does post well and since the pen is as such lightweight um, posting it could make it a bit top heavy for the for the rest of the pen um, it's it's okay but I think it becomes nagging for me I'm pretty comfortable holding it unposted does the job for me so the review writing so this is a fine point let's just see how this writes up out from let me correct that I like the design of the pen the unitary concept is so unique it somehow uh, appeals so well um, and and you can see that falcon uh, beak appearance um, it's it's really uh, it really sometimes this shape uh, strikes uh, a chord with you um, the pen writes onto a finer point and I have no complaints with this because I love writing with this pen um, for this particular point well you get a lot of ink laid out it's a wet nib it's a it's sort of on a on a on a moderate to a better moderate uh, wetness I'd say for a fine point I don't think it is ultra smooth but then uh, it it is it is smooth but for a I think uh, it goes with this kind of a fine tip it has a bit of feedback you can hear it writing onto the surface so expect that feedback with it but then this is not a scratchy nib at all um, how it rates with wetness on a visual analog scale I'd say does a pretty good job and smoothness considering the fact that it's a fine point this is on to a better side um, so all in all a pretty good package very very unique concept very different design I, I simply don't understand why uh, they just went out of manufacturing with the unitary nibs probably uh, then the pilot also came uh, again with this concept uh, on their uh, anniversary in uh, 2010 I believe and then they had some limited uh, models coming up then again went out uh, so pro probably the production cost uh, did not justify them keeping in line I don't know I really like the pen and uh, I hope you like this video see you next time